This tutorial is about fuels that you might use in the home or in other places and uh, this particular picture shows for example uh, gas, natural gas being used in a cooker or in a fire in a living room. There's solid fuels like wood here and also coal. So what you need to be able to do is to be able to interpret data on fuels to choose the best fuel for a particular purpose. And so there's going to be some key words you're going to have. Now, when we're asked about what fuels we might use in the home, we can normally come up with natural gas or coal or wood. But often what happens is people come up with this one. Now, electricity is not a fuel. And the reason it's not a fuel is that a fuel is a substance that reacts with oxygen to release useful energy. In other words, it will burn to produce energy. And electricity, of course, doesn't burn. It's, an, it's a form of energy, but it isn't a fuel. GCSE questions tend to ask you about factors you might need to consider when choosing a fuel for a particular scenario. One of the things you might consider is, is that fuel toxic or poisonous? Secondly, what's the energy value? In other words, how many joules are produced by burning, say, one kilogram of that fuel? Is the fuel available? Is it available locally? And will it be available long term? So is it a sustainable fuel, for example? There's cost. How much does it cost per kilogram or per unit of the fuel? How easy is it to use? For example, is it easy to light? And is a lot of pollution caused? For example, is sulfur dioxide caused when the fuel burns or does it produce a lot of carbon monoxide? Finally, storage. Is it a bulky fuel? Coal, for example, would have to be stored outdoors in a bunker, whereas gas doesn't require any storage because it's piped directly to the home. It's always useful to use a mnemonic or a memory helper to learn a list of things and this one uses an acronym and the acronym here is teacups. Teacups. Here's a typical GCSE question. Phil wants to choose a fuel to heat his house. Two important factors that Phil needs to think about when choosing a fuel are the cost of the fuel and the energy release per gram. Suggest so two other important factors that Phil needs to think about. Well, one factor Phil might consider is the availability of the fuel. For example, is it easy to get hold of? A second factor I might consider is the usability of the fuel. Uh, for example, is it easy to light? But using that acronym teacups, obviously you can't talk about the C, the cost of the fuel, and you can't talk about the E, the energy released per gram, but there are a number of options, and on this smart scheme, for example, they also talk about the space needed to store the fuel, the storage of the fuel, and whether the fuel is toxic, uh, for example, and does it produce any pollution, any poisonous carbon monoxide when it burns. So really, any of those uh, letters that the teacups would be suitable answers for that question.